The shutdown of the state fair means a huge loss in sales tax locally and a lack of jobs that businesses budget for each year. News Channel 9's Josh Martin pulled up to the counter with concession stand owners to measure the impact of no fair for the first time in 70 years. Hundreds of vendors now know for sure no state fair this year. All the summer fun items we love will have to be shelved till 2021. No butter sculpture, no fun new drink from 1911. We've definitely been been planning all along like it was going to happen, but you know we've been we've been talking to our people on the ground and, and realized that it was probably at this point a slim chance that it was going to go off, um, and and we realized you know, the reasons reasons behind that. We're gonna have the best sandwich in the entire world. All the people that help make the fair possible will have to find new ways to make money in August. Most of the vendors have been enduring a tough summer as it is with all these cancellations. They have concerns about the people they employ. Twin Trees has been hiring people for the fair since 1972. For example, I've had a few text messages today about there are people saying how sorry they were the fair wasn't going to happen. And they look forward to possibly being able to come back next year. These are people that work for us only at the fair every year. Though there's disappointment that there's no fair in 2020, folks are already looking ahead to a bigger and better fair in 2021. At the fairgrounds, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. And as we know, the fair is a big economic boom for the entire region. Last year's fair broke attendance records with 1.3 million people.